Let's talk about the new COVID-19 vaccines, and in particular, its safety and efficacy for those who have arthritis and other rheumatic diseases, as well as the medications that they're on. Of importance today is that we're recording this at the end of December, where right now there are two uh, vaccines approved in the Canadian market with data limited to the time of recording. We expect more information to come and as that becomes available and as new vaccines become available, we will continue to update uh, both with other videos, but also on our website at albertarheumatology.com. So right now, which COVID-19 vaccines are available? So there's two of them. There's the Pfizer product, which is a vaccine approved for those at least 16 years old, and the Moderna product, which was just approved which is those for those who are 18 years old and older. These two vaccines both require two doses. The Pfizer product is given 21 days or three weeks apart, and the Moderna product is 28 days or four weeks apart. How do they work? So these are new, a new type of vaccine called mRNA vaccines. Of importance, they do not alter your genetic information, so they don't change your DNA. They are not live vaccines. And this is really important for our population as live vaccines often are contraindicated for those with arthritis, particularly those who are, who are on a number of our medications, including biologics. So these are not live. They also do not con contain an adjuvant in uh, the kind of recipe, in the ingredients that the vaccine is provided in. How do these vaccines work? So mRNA vaccines provide your cells with the recipe to make a small portion of the COVID-19 virus. In this case, the spike protein that helps the virus enter the cells. Your immune system will learn to recognize the spike protein to protect you. After this protein, the spike protein piece is made, the cells break down the instructions, the mRNA, and gets rid of them. So once it's used, your body gets rid of that initial vaccine. But once uh, your immune system is triggered by this new protein piece, your body makes antibodies that help you fight the real COVID-19 virus if you are ever affected, infected. So how do we know these vaccines are safe and effective? What's the general process? So first of all, in Canada, Health Canada is recognized for very high standards for vaccine review, approvals, monitoring. And because of that, not surprisingly, we assume that only vaccines that are safe and effective are approved for use. One question that comes up though is how, how was it that these vaccines were able to come to market so quickly? Well, certainly it was a speedier process, but this was because of availability of funding for the development, a lot of interest in participation by people in, their, in the studies, and prioritization of review for market authorization. In other words, Health Canada and other uh, medication regulating authorities in the world brought review of this product right to the front of the line and didn't make it wait. The actual time to study the products that were required, that didn't change. So exactly what was done to look at this. So uh, there were trials for both products. The Pfizer product looked at 44,000 people and showed that the vaccine was 95% effective in preventing COVID-19 as measured about a week after the second dose was given. And the Moderna product showed something very similar on a study of 30,000 people. The vaccine was 94% effective as measured two weeks after the second dose. What are the possible side effects? So generally they were considered mild or moderate and only lasted a few days and more often experienced after the second injection as opposed to the first. The most common side effects were pain at the site of injection, body chills, muscle or joint aches, feeling tired, 
or even feeling feverish, which we think indicates that the immune system is responding to the vaccine. Some patients may experience more severe reactions than seen with other vaccines, such as a flu vaccine, like a little bit higher fever. But things like Tylenol, Advil, Aleve may be helpful to manage those side effects. As with all vaccines, there is a chance of rare but serious side effects, including allergic reactions. And while rare, we have seen that a little bit with the COVID-19 vaccine so far. But there have been no major safety concerns identified yet, and Health Canada will continue to monitor for vaccine safety. So now, is the vaccine safe for patients with rheumatic diseases? So experts agree that these vaccines can be used safely in patients with rheumatic disease, like rheumatoid arthritis and lupus, including those receiving drugs that influence the immune system. So things like methotrexate or biologics, so forth. Health Canada has stated the vaccine should not be offered, though, to populations excluded in clinical trials, including those with autoimmune disease disorders, unless a risk assessment deems that the benefits outweigh the risks. A small number of patients with autoimmune disorders were included in the Pfizer trial. We don't know which autoimmune disorders, and we're still waiting to see if that data comes out so we can look at that. We also know that vaccine response in general, not specific to COVID-19, but in general, may not be as strong or last as long in patients on some of our immunomodulating therapies like methotrexate, biologics, and so forth. So it is possible it's the same for the COVID-19 vaccine, but we don't know what that, that practically means. Most importantly, though, there is no data suggesting the vaccines are not safe for those with rheumatic disease or on immunomodulating therapies. And I think that's really important. The Center for Disease Control in the United States has recommended that persons with autoimmune conditions who do not have contraindications to vaccine may receive an mRNA COVID-19 vaccine. Well, will the vaccine interact with therapies used to treat rheumatic diseases? So some of our therapies, methotrexate and rituximab in, in particular, have been shown to decrease the immune response to other vaccines. This may be true for the COVID-19 vaccine as well. In particular for rituximab, it's suggested to discuss optimal timing for receiving the vaccine with your rheumatologist. Again, it's worth repeating though, there is no data suggesting vaccines are not safe for those with rheumatic disease or on immunomodulating therapies. So even with rituximab, if you take it, it may impact how well it works, but it is it seems to be safe. Your rheumatologist may recommend holding one or more of your disease-modifying therapies around the time that you receive the vaccine, and this may be a discussion you want to have with them. In general, why is immunization important? Well, we know it's the single most effective means of protecting yourself from COVID-19, and will help ensure our most vulnerable and at-risk populations are protected as well. The vaccine will also reduce the strain on our healthcare system, to allow elective surgeries and other postponed services to continue. How quickly does it work? Well, we think protection from severe disease occurs very soon after the first injection, and more complete and hopefully longer lived protection occurs about two weeks after the second dose. It may be that people who are protected by the vaccine can still carry the virus and transmit it to others, so we're still waiting on data on that. So for now, recommendations for masking will likely continue. Well, I have to get the vaccine annually, kind of like the flu shot. Right now, we don't know. It's, we don't know how long this vaccine will last. That's still data to come. If you've been effect, infected by COVID-19, we still suggest that you get the vaccine as they're having cases of reinfection. who will be eligible for the vaccine first. So this is coming from Alberta Health and Alberta Health Services, where right now they're prioritizing healthcare workers. It's anticipated by them that the COVID-19 vaccine will be available to the general public by fall 2021. 
And at least 50, if not 70% of people need to be vaccinated to achieve herd immunity, which means where the natural patterns of spread will change and hopefully reduce. So the bottom line right now is the mRNA vaccines are about 95% effective in preventing COVID-19 infection. And although there is no data proving their effectiveness in patients with rheumatic diseases, it is believed these vaccines can be used safely in patients with rheumatic diseases, as well as patients receiving drugs that influence the immune system. Again, this information is up to date as of the end of December. We will continue to update it as new information and new vaccines become available. Make sure to check back here or on our website for more information. That's at albertarheumatology.com.